Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about IELTS listening. This is my very first time talking about this matter because I think I'm going to use it for my IELTS class as well to kind of set the, the time because they need to know the basic of how to deal with the IELTS listening questions and also what's the difference between uh, paper-based and computer-delivered tasks because we're going to absolutely discuss this for the, in this session. Um, without further ado, let's just discuss it from now. So, um, yep. As you might know, that guys, that if you want to take IELTS in listening, it will be the same. Uh, the, the level of difficulty for IELTS academic and general will be pretty much the same because the listening and speaking are the things that they use it every day so it will be the same context the the same level of uh difficulty in understanding and also communicating so it's pretty much the same so um yeah let's just discuss it now so in ielts listening um for today, we're going to talk about the timing, the question types, and also test parts, tips, exercise, and also the markings. For example, how many correct answers you got, and uh, what band score you will get if you got a certain correct answers. So the timing uh, is it's pretty much the same. Uh, I think it has never been changed for the last decade. I, it's still the same at 30 minutes, but uh, with the 10 minutes extra, with uh, extra 10 minutes uh, for transferring your answer from your uh, question sheet to to your uh, answer sheet. But I don't know, uh, in paper-based, the case will be like that. All I know in computer-based that you don't need to transfer it because the answers are already right there. And this is uh, what it looks like in computer base or computer deliver. Uh, they call it like that. Uh, you got the time here. So you can see um, how many minutes left. And you also have this uh, volume. But of course, it's not going to be a web uh, based task because you cannot Google or something like that. You cannot uh, explore the internet. <laughs> you only, uh, you are only able to move the question from uh, the numbers. But I suggest you don't move the the numbers if when you are not done. So make sure that you still focus on the dialogue or the recording that you are hearing. All right move to question types pretty much the same uh, with all the tips that you see on the internet there are multiple choices matching plan map diagram labeling form completion not completion table flow chart summary completion and short answer question and we will also discuss the minimum words or the words that you are allowed to to answer because uh, if you exceed um, the the uh, minimum words, for example, the instructions say to you to only write two words or one number. So you must also write that way. Otherwise, you will lose mark. You will be marked uh, as an incorrect answer. So the test part consists of four. Uh, section one will be about the conversation between two people set in everyday social context such as conversation in a combination agency or maybe a very general very very easy and section two is uh, all about monologue set in of everyday social context this is quite longer and getting uh, more difficult but i think uh, in my opinion, section 3 will be the most challenging section of all. Why? You will find out later. Because all the uh, format of the question itself will make you very confused. In section 3, it's all about the conversation between 
uh, up to four people so they can can you imagine that and uh, it's more difficult uh, harder uh, with the university tutor or student discussing assignment it will be multiple choice or matching the the headings so <laughs> this is going to be uh, your nightmare guys and in my case I have uh, the most uh, incorrect answer in this section so not only you but I think most of Indonesian students or ESL students uh, have problem with this section section so in section four we have a monologue on an academic subject a university lecture usually uh, very long uh, consists of I don't know maybe around 10 questions yeah we'll see about that later and please guys uh, each number uh, usually comes right after the listening so you must follow what the speaker is speaking about and then try to analyze what uh, what is the missing word in that question uh, seat so you need to focus focus is a key and its uh, section is heard only once guys so do not expect that they will uh, replay the recording for you you only you are only be able to you are only able to uh, listen to it once and a, ver a variety of voices and native speaker accents are used such as australian american irish scottish but mostly absolutely british one <clears throat> And this is the example for section one. As you can see, it's pretty much easy. Uh, the thing that you always usually get when you have uh, listening practice in your school or in your English course, pretty typical, very easy. Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll also give you guys later a quick practice to, to handle with this one. And then uh, part two, you have that longer questions and multiple choice short uh, answer be careful with the instruction guys you must listen to the you must read the instruction carefully in part three uh, i think uh when i took the ielts uh, in 2021 they call it a section not part but I forgot, is it the other round? <laughs> it's supposed to be part, not section, but I forgot. The thing is, it's pretty much the same. Section, parts, they're all the same. And part four, as you can see, longer. Um, yeah, it will, it will be only one lecture. And then they'll talk about uh, a lot of things. Uh, one particular topic, but very long. So you got to be careful with the paraphrase there. Make sure you are good with paraphrase, but the answer, but the answers are not are not allowed to be paraphrased. Meaning that uh, you only have to understand the uh, questions. And for example, is the answer is Jakarta or maybe uh, yeah Jakarta, and then you apply to something like um, different than Jakarta, maybe. Uh, a big city or something like that of course it's not uh, going to be the case but just in case you guys uh, don't change the answer from the recording only understand the context in the questions for my tips uh, make sure that you guys uh, pay very attention to your answer correctly such as uh, building such as like this one you cannot uh, use it like that and Jakarta is the name of the city so you must use it with the capital capital uh, J so yeah small details really mean a lot to your score in IELTS listening and then use the exact words or number in the recording no paraphrase or different words yeah we'll talk about that maybe during my life with my live stream with my students in the classroom. I hope you can also watch my life, my life, yeah, yeah my live stream. Ah, oh, that YouTube live, yeah. <laughs> and three, the answer are always in the order of the recording. Usually come up uh, like that. Uh, 
when uh, the person talking about number one, you know that there is number one. You cannot go to number five if if the recording just started. So make sure that you focus on, yeah, something in order. For move on if you miss an answer. And at the end of the test, go back quickly and guess any uh, missing answer because remember you have ten more minutes to transfer your answer if you take the paper base but also i think uh, you also given 10 minutes for the computer base or deliver if i not mistaken i forgot and try to predict later and anything so when once you get the uh, instruction to to look at the question read it first and then the the recording will say like that and use that time to predict it it's to predict all of this uh, answer maybe you you are lucky I just know <laughs> all right and then the test tip pay attention to the number of words you need to write no more than two words mean that you may need to write one word or two words no more than one word and or a number means that if you write two words or more then your answer will be wrong for example like this one 16th of june do not write the off okay just 16th june three books and then uh, i think 6 11 21 means still one uh one word or one number yeah 24 cats if you separate the four without the dash meaning that that will be three words right 24 cats but if you uh, connect it with the dash it will become one so 20 cats become two words and of course with the number uh, the amount of the money yeah okay this is the marking of listening if you got yeah correct answers with these numbers you can see your band score that is your band score because listening if you watch my first video about the IELTS interjection you would know that um, for the listening is the receptive skill meaning that you can find out your own uh, learning process you can find out your own band score by looking at the answer keys on your book so i hope you guys have time to exercise but if you don't have the time i will separate this uh, video and i will just make the video for you okay so thank you so much for um, watching and i hope you guys found this lesson useful and helpful and i'll see you next time see you soon bye bye